Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this week's Warnut Dev Blog. So, I'm going to warn everyone in advance, it looks like this is one of these filler episodes with a variety of updates. They actually say it's a bunch of smaller updates, but one of them sounds like a very big thing. A veterancy rework. Veterancy is what they call the experience level of units. They currently feature green, trained, veteran and elite. That's the little chevrons you get next to the unit name. Higher experience levels decrease aiming time, for instance, improving the unit's ability to withstand suppression, things like that. It's going to change a bit for some units. They say their aim is to improve the veterancy system in Warno to better reflect the distribution of experience levels among divisions. Better said, we want to better emphasize the nuanced differences of the four existing veterancy levels. Our objective, they say, is to make elite units rarer, but give them a real edge in the game. To make this work, we will update how the veterancy system works, including how many units you can find at each experience level. Interestingly enough, green units are relatively rare. They monopolize a very specific veterancy level, just for them, aka secondary units and reservists, which don't usually fit into our vision. That's why we will introduce the new Militia trait to characterize these inexperienced units better. This means that all of Warnor's units will have their experience distributed between Green and Veteran. Only a few select specialized units will be deployed with the new Highest Veterancy, Elite. A particular advantage of making this Highest Veterancy level even rarer is to increase the value of Command Units they will be much more relevant as they will boost more veteran units to elite status. So they continue with the next subheading, updated experience system for specific units. We are tinkering a bit more with how experience works. We are keeping the current veterancy system in place, but will update it for a specific set of units. Some unit categories will remain the same, infantry, tanks, recon, anti-air and helicopters. Aeroplanes, logistics and artillery units will be updated on how experience influences their performance. The revised experience system underpinning these types of units will better reflect their specific capabilities. For instance, the new veterancy levels for command units let them take control of command zones faster, or with logistical supply units increase the rate at which they can repair or resupply. The area of effect will also be improved. In the case of artillery units, the updated veterancy bonus will reduce the unit's aim and reloading times, and for planes they will gain improved flight abilities with the updated veterancy system. The next subheading is new traits, so they've been developing two new traits which will come to warn or soon. The first is the jammer trait. This will affect enemy radar recon, drastically reducing their efficiency within the area of effect. Any unit with excellent optics being jammed will see its optics degraded. This trait will be supported by dedicated recon helicopters such as the American EH-60A Quick Fix 2 and the Soviet Mi-8 PPA. These new units will be introduced in Warno as soon as their in-game models are finished. Next up is the False Flag trait. This will be a rare trait. It will cover units fighting without uniforms, or even worse, fighting using enemy uniforms, illegally according to the laws of war, in covert operations. In case of capture, this means a direct ticket to the firing squad. They say think of Skorzeny's Operation Grief during the Battle of the Bulge. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but there you go. In Warno, this new trait will lower a unit's menace level. This means the enemy units will target a unit featuring the false flag trait last if found within a group of units. This represents the confusion on the battlefield introduced by friendly ruse or neutral uniforms. The false flag trait will be granted to both the East German false flag paratroopers, the Falschrim Einsatzgruppe and Falschrim Sprengtrauscher, dressed in American uniforms. The American PSSEB Special Forces from Berlin Command, which operated in civilian clothes, will also get the trait. Plus, this unit will also gain a brand new civilian model, and they have made them as German 80s vibes as possible. Next up are a few new models, so they have a new model for the T-80BK Command Tank and the T-80BVK Command Tank that will be coming to the game. And then they say, until next week, our first Army General campaign, Bruderkrieg, is being tested by the strike team. With positive initial feedback, we will keep you updated. And that's everything for this week.
So, another short one this week. Lots of questions remain for me over these veterancy changes, but I'll, we'll just have to wait and see how they turn out. I'm not sure about changing how veterancy works for command units and supply, but we shall see how it turns out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all soon.